On a Sunday afternoon, I grabbed three lenses, threw them in my bag, and I headed out. Today, we're looking at one of those lenses, and I'm taking you with me to Botanica in Wichita, Kansas. The lens you'll see today is the Nikkor Z MC 105 f 2.8s, the finest macro lens that Nikon has ever produced. Let's warm up, shall we? This is the second time I've been to Botanica, and the first time, I totally missed the train setup. Which is really sweet, and the older gentleman that runs it is super nice, and he let me know about a photo competition that Botanica hosts. I'll have to get into that sometime, but not with these photos. This is just for fun in YouTube. This lens renders incredibly good colors, and the sharpness is just absolutely magnificent, making this $999 lens feel rather underpriced. As the day progresses, we'll see that sharpness really come out. Carrying around all this gear is rather exhausting, so let's take a seat and shoot some photography. You might have noticed that this isn't technically macro photography. When I shoot macro photography, I like to take a tripod and I like to do focus shift. That way I can get more things in focus. I would call this just flower photography with a macro lens. To avoid stepping off the path, we're about to get awkward. Check out this funkiness. Good thing we've got a flippy screen. Kind of, anyway. When editing, don't forget to use luminance sometimes. It creates a nice, poppy, beautiful glow. Look at all these tiny little flower hairs. Now we're gonna take a stroll through a load of bees gathering pollen. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get one. Spoiler. We totally do. Check it out. Is that a bee? I'm second guessing. The wings look weird. Oh well, it likes the flowers nonetheless. I've got to stand kind of still because I don't want to disturb the bees, but I am going to try to get another one. That one almost hit me. And we got one. We're gonna try the Jason Lanier style here. Only we're using two hands instead of one. 
I don't feel cool at all, but that's a cool shot. Now this next shot is really interesting because I didn't notice a little spider until I was editing the photo. Check him out and tell me what you'll name him in the comments. But even crazier, a beetle shows up out of nowhere and I don't think he realizes that he could be toast soon. But remember, don't ever interrupt nature. Nature regulates itself, whether it's a beetle and a spider or a cute bunny and a hawk. But now, in order, here's my favorite shots from the day that were not on video. This one might go into a photo competition. I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade, and Z-Wade Photo, and I will catch you in the next one.